Hey guys, it's Helena here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can write your own balanced scorecard using ChatGPT. This is going to save you so much time because you don't have to do it manually anymore. I'm going to share with you a really good prompt to help you get this done. So you want to write a balanced scorecard for your organization or your project just to analyze it and see uh, where some things could be improved and what you're already doing well for. It just gives you that high level view. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. And also you can download the prompt below. The link is in the descriptions. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the prompt here. All right. So we have the balance scorecard prompt right here. And what we're asking ChatGPT to do is to create the balance scorecard for your project or organization by analyzing the financial perspective. So instead of the financial perspective, we want ChatGPT to, to consider what are the key financial goals and objective of your project or organization and what financial metrics and indicators are important to track and measure for your performance. Also, we want to take a look at the customer perspective. So who are the who are the target customers? What are their needs, expectations, or preferences? And what kind of goals and metrics should we um, be measuring that's relevant for our project or organization? Then the next section we want to take a look at is the internal process perspectives. So what are the key internal processes that drive value and efficiency? How do we measure um, and improve the performance of these processes and what are process related goals and metrics that should be included in the balance scorecard. The last section of the balance scorecard that we're asking ChatGPT to write is a learning and growth perspective here. And so instead of this section, we have uh, three different things that we want ChatGPT to consider. The first part is what skills, capabilities, and resources are necessary to support your organization? How do you foster a culture of learning, innovation, and development? And lastly, what learning and growth goals and metrics are important for long-term success? And then, so now we gave ChatGPT the structure here. So we gave it four sections with specific instructions of what to consider in each of these four sections. And then lastly, we're just going to give it um, the, the action we wanted to take, which is uh, taking this structure that we just present to you, um, create a balanced scorecard for enter in your project organization. So uh, let me copy this prompt right over here. And now let's dive right into ChatGPT. And let's suppose that our organization is um, Tesla. So let's just put in the name of the organization there. And then ChatGPT will now generate uh, a balanced scorecard, as you can see here, for our organization because Tesla is a pretty well-known organization. So um, ChatGPT already knows what this organization is. If your organization is newer, uh, it wouldn't have this information. So you may want to describe um, the organization a bit more. So we can see that ChatGPT has gone ahead and write, wrote the balanced scorecard within a matter of seconds here for us and divided it into the structure that we asked it to. So we have the financial perspective, the customer perspective, the internal process perspective, the learning pr perspective, um, and, uh, and then some uh, KPIs that we can consider for each of these categories as well. So pretty amazing. Uh, and if your organization wants a diff slightly different structure, the PMO has a uh, different type of, um, type of uh, template that they want to use for the balanced scorecard, just go over here and modify the prompt a little bit to fit exactly what they want. And then you can just plug in your organization's data into there and you'll have your own custom balanced scorecard within a matter of seconds. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. Again, if you got any value of this, I would really appreciate if you like and um, comment below. That would help me out really, really uh, a lot. And I'll see you in the next training tutorial. Thank you so much.